Welcome to our Wall Street News Briefing. Today, we're diving into a trio of intriguing stories that are making waves across the globe. First up, Tokyo's real estate scene is heating up as activist hedge funds uncover hidden billions in undervalued properties. Companies are being nudged to sell off assets, potentially unlocking a treasure trove worth $143 billion more than their book value. Then, we're taking to the skies with Boeing as it rebuffs allegations from a whistleblower about the assembly of its 787 Dreamliner aircraft. Despite claims of excessive force potentially risking fatigue, Boeing assures that its carbon composite technology keeps the aircraft safe and sound. Lastly, we're heading down under where a couple in South Australia's driest state is breaking the mold by successfully growing turmeric. This golden spice usually thrives in monsoonal conditions, but the Brooks have found a way to cultivate it in the arid Australian outback, fetching up to $60 per kilogram. Stay tuned for more details on these fascinating stories. Please continue to watch for detailed content. In the bustling heart of Tokyo, a financial drama unfolds as activist hedge funds set their sights on the hidden billions locked away in undervalued real estate assets. According to Japan Times, these investors are putting pressure on Japanese companies to divest from their property holdings, which have been underestimated on the books for years. Many of these firms have clung to their properties for decades, consistently writing down their value due to annual depreciation, despite a significant surge in property prices. This has created a staggering 22 trillion yen, $143 billion, chasm between the book and market value of these assets. In a notable move, Mitsui Futasan announced plans to offload 2 trillion yen in real estate assets following a nudge from the activist hedge fund Elliott Management, signaling a potential shift in how Japanese companies manage their property portfolios. Meanwhile, over at Boeing, a different kind of pressure is mounting. The Associated Press reports that the aerospace giant is fervently pushing back against allegations made by whistleblower Sam Salapour, who claims that excessive force was used to fit panels together during the assembly of the 787 Dreamliner aircraft. This, Salapour argues, could heighten the risk of fatigue, compromising the aircraft's safety. However, Boeing executives have staunchly defended the Dreamliner's integrity, emphasizing that the carbon composite skin of the aircraft is designed to be nearly impervious to the kind of metal fatigue that could weaken conventional aluminium fuselages. They assure that the planes currently in operation are safe, having undergone rigorous inspections that have revealed no signs of fatigue in the composite skins. This dispute underscores the ongoing challenges and scrutiny faced by major manufacturers in ensuring the safety and reliability of their products. Back in Tokyo, the narrative of undervalued real estate continues to unfold, as reported by Bloomberg. Activist investors, eyeing the substantial discrepancy between the book and market values of Japanese real estate assets, are ramping up their efforts. Elliott Management Corporation, having already acquired a stake in Mitsui Futasan, is leading the charge by urging the company to divest from its valuable real estate holdings, which include iconic skyscrapers dotting the Tokyo skyline. This movement is part of a broader trend in Japan, where government agencies and other institutions are advocating for more efficient balance sheet management and higher returns for shareholders. Japan's corporate landscape is increasingly becoming a battleground for activist investing, as stakeholders push for strategies that unlock hidden value and enhance financial performance. These stories, though distinct in their contexts, share a common theme of pressure and transformation. In Tokyo, activist hedge funds are challenging traditional corporate practices, urging companies to rethink their asset management strategies to unlock hidden value. Meanwhile, Boeing faces its own set of challenges, as it navigates allegations and defends the integrity of its engineering practices. Both scenarios underscore the dynamic and often contentious nature of the business world, where companies are continually called upon to adapt, innovate, and respond to both internal and external pressures. Whether it's through the strategic divestment of undervalued assets or the rigorous defense of product safety, these stories highlight the complex interplay of finance, strategy, and stewardship in shaping the future of businesses around the globe. In the sun-scorched landscape of South Australia's Riverland region, a narrative of agricultural innovation unfolds, as narrated by the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. Peter Inn and Brooke have embarked on a venture that defies the conventional wisdom of crop cultivation. They have successfully cultivated turmeric, a spice traditionally grown in the monsoonal forests of India, in the arid climate of Australia's driest state. Turmeric, known for its vibrant color and myriad health benefits, fetches the brooks up to $60 per kilogram, a testament to its growing popularity in Australia. Despite the challenges posed by a climate significantly drier than turmeric's native habitat, and the competition from larger-scale producers in Queensland, the brook's success story is a beacon of agricultural adaptability. 
They have managed to grow this in-demand spice with minimal irrigation, showcasing the potential for diversification in Australian agriculture. Shifting our focus to the technological realm, Nikkei Asia reports on the anticipated rebound in profits for Japanese chipmaking equipment manufacturers, such as Tokyo Electron. This resurgence is fueled by the burgeoning demand for artificial intelligence, AI, technologies and a significant market expansion in China. The global sales of chipmaking equipment are projected to witness a 4% increase this year, reaching a staggering $105.3 billion. This marks the first annual gain in two years, an indicator of the industry's recovery and growth. The AI revolution is driving an insatiable appetite for advanced semiconductor technologies, positioning companies like Tokyo Electron at the forefront of this lucrative wave. As the digital world continues to evolve, the demand for chips that power AI applications is expected to soar, heralding a promising era for chipmaking equipment manufacturers. In the geopolitical arena, foreign policy delves into the dynamics of oil markets in the wake of Iran's drone and missile attacks on Israel on January 9. Despite the potential for escalation, the energy markets have displayed a remarkable calm. The immediate aftermath saw a slight dip in global oil prices, suggesting that fears of a significant escalation were unfounded. Iran's attacks, while provocative, did not target Israeli energy infrastructure, and the strikes by Houthi militants in Yemen were directed at Israel rather than Red Sea shipping routes. This restrained response from the markets underscores a growing resilience to geopolitical shocks, attributed in part to the diversification of global oil supplies, particularly from the Americas. However, the specter of geopolitical tensions looms large, with the ongoing Iran-Israel conflict and potential U.S. sanctions against Iran, including measures targeting Chinese banks involved in oil trade with Iran. The stability of oil markets, despite these tensions, speaks to a complex interplay of geopolitical and economic factors that continue to shape the global energy landscape. These stories, spanning the realms of agriculture, technology, and geopolitics, illustrate the interconnectedness of global trends and challenges. From the agricultural innovation in Australia's Riverland region to the technological advancements in Japan's semiconductor industry, and the geopolitical intricacies affecting global oil markets, these narratives highlight the resilience, adaptability, and potential for growth in the face of adversity. Whether it's the cultivation of turmeric in arid climates, the boom in AI-driven demand for chipmaking equipment, or the common oil markets amidst geopolitical tensions, each story offers insights into the forces shaping our world. In the bustling heart of New York City, the courtroom was abuzz with anticipation as former U.S. President Donald Trump faced a legal battle that would etch its way into the annals of American history. According to the BBC, Trump found himself at the center of a hush money trial, accused of attempting to conceal a $130,000 payment to porn star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 election. This marked the first time a figure of such high political stature, a former or current U.S. president, was put on trial in a criminal court. BBC correspondent Kayla Epstein provided an inside look at the trial proceedings, capturing the gravity of the moment and the intense scrutiny it brought upon one of the most polarizing figures in modern American politics. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away in the rugged landscapes of Australia's outback, a different kind of story unfolded, one of adventure, community, and a life-changing decision. The Australian Broadcasting Corporation reported on the Rural Experience Program initiated by the New South Wales Department of Education in 2018. Aimed at addressing the chronic teacher shortages in rural and remote areas, the program enticed teachers with financial incentives, including housing subsidies, to venture into the unknown and embrace the laid-back lifestyle of rural towns. Remarkably, about 60% of teachers who embarked on this journey for a bit of adventure, as one teacher put it, found themselves making these remote communities their permanent home. The success of the program highlighted not just the allure of the outback's serene beauty but the profound sense of belonging and purpose many found within these tight-knit communities. In another realm of exploration, but this time reaching for the stars, NASA found itself grappling with the formidable challenge of bringing Mars samples back to Earth. The Associated Press reported that the space agency's ambitious plan was temporarily put on hold due to concerns over its hefty price tag, estimated between $8 billion and $11 billion, and the long timeline with samples not expected to arrive until 2040. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson voiced his apprehensions, emphasizing the need for a more cost-effective and timely solution. In response, NASA called upon the ingenuity of private industry and its own centers to brainstorm alternative methods to achieve this monumental task. The goal was clear, to expedite the process and reduce costs, ideally bringing the precious Martian samples to Earth by the 2030s for no more than $7 billion. 
This initiative underscored NASA's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration while also navigating the practical constraints of budget and time. Each of these stories, from the courtroom drama in New York City to the remote classrooms of Australia's outback, and the cosmic ambitions of NASA, showcases the diverse tapestry of human experience. Whether it's navigating the complexities of the legal system, embracing the adventure of rural living, or reaching for the stars, these narratives highlight the resilience, adaptability, and boundless curiosity that define us. Through the detailed reporting of the BBC, the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, and the Associated Press, we gain insight into the challenges and triumphs that shape our world, reminding us of the remarkable stories that unfold every day, on Earth and beyond. In a twist that sounds more like the plot of a sci-fi movie than a real-life event, NASA has confirmed an object that crash-landed through the roof of a Florida home last month indeed came from outer space, specifically from the International Space Station, ISS. According to the Associated Press, the mysterious debris, a metal support weighing 1.6 pounds and measuring 4 inches tall by 1.5 inches wide, was once used to mount old batteries on a cargo pallet designated for disposal. This piece of space junk, jettisoned from the ISS back in 2021, was expected to burn up upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Miraculously, this particular fragment survived the fiery descent, causing significant damage to a home, though, fortunately, no injuries were reported. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the tangible connections between our terrestrial lives and the vast expanse of space that surrounds us. On the West Coast, the real estate market is facing its own set of challenges, particularly in the industrial sector. Bloomberg reports that the greater Los Angeles area has seen its industrial vacancy rate soar to the highest level in a decade. According to a study by real estate brokerage Colliers, the vacancy rate for industrial buildings in the region climbed to 4.1% in the first quarter of 2023, a significant increase from 1.5% in the same period the previous year. The Inland Empire submarket, which serves as a crucial hub for big box and e-commerce logistics, experienced an even more pronounced increase, with its vacancy rate reaching 6.2%, the highest since 2013. This surge in vacancies is attributed to a combination of factors, including an influx of new construction, a slowdown in international trade, and rising borrowing costs. These developments paint a picture of a shifting economic landscape, where the once-booming industrial real estate market is now grappling with the challenges of oversupply and cooling demand. These stories, spanning from the cosmic to the economic, underscore the interconnectedness of our world. From space debris crashing into a Florida home, highlighting the physical remnants of human activity in space, to the shifting sands of the stock market and real estate sector, these events remind us of the complex web of factors that influence our daily lives. Whether it's the impact of economic reports on stock prices or the consequences of new construction on industrial vacancies, each narrative offers insight into the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our world. In the ever-evolving landscape of global commerce, businesses large and small find themselves embroiled in legal battles and strategic shifts that highlight the complexities of operating in today's digital and competitive market. From trademark lawsuits to potential sales of iconic brands, and the ongoing debates around market dominance, these stories shed light on the challenges and opportunities facing companies worldwide. Starting off with a legal skirmish that captures the intersection of technology and trademark rights, Yahoo US reports on an intriguing case involving the iconic bootmaker, Dr. Martens. The brand has taken legal action against the Chinese marketplace Temu, accusing the latter of manipulating Google search results to favor lookalike items over its genuine products. Dr. Martens alleges that Temu has been promoting keywords such as Dr. Martens and Airware to ensure that imitations rank higher in search results than the originals. This, they claim, not only breaches Google's policies, which prohibit ads that violate trademark rights but also misleads consumers and dilutes the value of Dr. Martens' brand. The lawsuit shines a spotlight on the digital battleground where visibility is key, and the lines between competition and infringement can sometimes blur. Meanwhile, in the realm of real estate and hospitality, Bloomberg brings attention to Blackstone's potential move to sell G6 Hospitality, the parent company of the well-known Motel 6 and Studio 6 brands. Having acquired G6 Hospitality from Accor in 2012 for a hefty $1.9 billion, Blackstone is now exploring the sale of this asset amidst a challenging commercial property market, characterized by rising borrowing costs that have cooled buyer interest. This potential sale, coming after an unsuccessful attempt in late 2021, underscores the fluctuating fortunes in the real estate sector and Blackstone's strategic maneuvers to capitalize on its investments. 
Sports. Across the Pacific, the Australian Broadcasting Corporation delves into the ongoing concerns surrounding the market dominance of Australia's major supermarkets, Coles and Woolworths. Accusations against these giants have shifted from price-fixing to exerting undue pressure on suppliers to cut costs, thereby increasing their own profit margins. The narrative has evolved from the milk wars of 2011, where aggressive pricing strategies were employed, to current practices demanding rebates, discounts, and other concessions from suppliers. This concentration of power, critics argue, contravenes the principles of a free market, prompting the Australian government to consider stronger regulations, including a mandatory code of conduct for supermarkets and heftier penalties for breaches. The situation highlights the delicate balance between competition, consumer benefits, and the sustainability of suppliers in a market dominated by a few powerful players. These stories, from the legal battle faced by Dr. Martins against Temu, Blackstone's strategic considerations for G6 hospitality, to the market dynamics in Australia's grocery sector, reflect the multifaceted challenges businesses encounter in the global market. Whether it's navigating the digital landscape, making strategic investment decisions, or dealing with market concentration, these narratives underscore the ongoing need for companies to adapt, innovate, and sometimes, litigate, to thrive in an ever-changing business environment. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email.